the pig iron shield in quartzite. Can DF hack help with FPS? I'm a bad person to ask this these days. I, I used to focus a lot on frame rate in my fort design, but ever since SDL2 came into the game, my forts have just run so freaking well 90% of the time that I don't really have to worry about it. Aside from uh, cavern creatures, which the extermin exterminate command can help with, um, or alternatively just simply disabling their ability to spawn. Um, but by that, I mean like the, the things that attack you from the caverns. Aside from like just disabling them in the options menu or using exterminate to mass kill them, which is redundant if you're just like trying to save frames. Aside from that, I don't know that many ways to improve frame rate because my frame rate's so high all the time these days. Back, there was a period of time there where I was very, very knowledgeable about frame rate, which is very funny because I have people like telling me that I'm wrong about things all the time where it's just like, this is based off of information back when I had a significantly slower computer and the game ran worse. Um, specifically where I'm just like, yeah, frame rate death doesn't exist. I still believe that because I've never had an instance where a fort slowed down to unplayable levels that I wasn't able to fix, either by jumping back to an old save and then avoid or fiddling around with the game until it fixed itself. To me, frame rate death is a fortress that becomes unplayable and then stays unplayable forever. I haven't had that happen in years. If you have an ass CPU, your best way to work... Okay, so DF hack isn't what you need to do if you have a shitty PC. So when it comes to crappy CPU, Dwarf Fortress is a weird game. And it's a weird game in that this game's never going to run well. It doesn't matter how much they patch it. Because it kind of has the... I, 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 I would say City Skylines problem, but that's actually a bad example because City Skylines 2 runs like ass. Um, it has the simulation game problem, right? And it has the very open, not limited simulation game problem. And this is something that people will forever shout in my YouTube comments for that they completely disagree with me. And honestly, whatever, I don't care. Every single time they improve the, f the performance of this game, the players push it further and complain the game runs like shit. Uh, people are used to just turning on a game and it working, right? Whereas in reality, NVIDIA puts out gigabytes worth of patches to make games run well on everything that runs with an NVIDIA GPU. So people are used to just starting up a game running default and it working because you're probably not actually running default. You're running what NVIDIA decided to give you or your graphics card driver decided to give you. So Dwarf Fortress doesn't do any of that. So it's not going to necessarily run well on its default settings for everybody. You need to figure out how to make it run well on your computer. And you can do this a couple of ways. And yeah, like DF hack can help in certain deathly situations where your whole fort falls over, but realistically, it's not gonna help that much, especially in the modern era of Dwarf Fortress. What can help is if you go to your game settings and tweak all this stuff, because what you can do is you can turn your population down. Currently, I'm sitting at 220. Uh, I used to never go above 180 in version 47 because my older computer, the one I had before this one, couldn't run the game at above 20, 20 FPS with any population above 180. And 20 FPS was the, max, was the minimum I was willing to tolerate. So I would stop allowing any visitors, anything at 120. The other thing you can do is you can go into the difficulty settings and they shouldn't call these difficulty settings. They should call them like combat settings or something. Difficulty settings, you can turn down the amount of dwarves that you need to get attacks. X amount of economy, or because like economy triggers is one thing that can bring in enemies. So you exporting stuff or alternatively, you can have like population production triggers, right? Um, which I'm looking for right now, which I'm not actually seeing currently. <laughs> Enemy popu uh, population trigger, yeah, there you go. So you can turn these numbers down, which will allow enemies to attack you at lower population counts. Meaning, if your game is running badly or running at a level that you don't think is acceptable, you should absolutely be turning these numbers down because you'll still get a very similar to comparable experience, but with a lower population. One of the most common questions I get from people, what, what is the highest population count you've ever had? It's almost guaranteed to be the last fortress I built because... Before version 50, I never had a, over 100 dwarves. The game just ran too slowly. I didn't like doing it. I did it like once or twice. I was like, nah, this ain't worth it. And I would get happy when a bunch of dwarves would die in a siege. Where in this world now, it's like people are talking about trying to get to 500 dwarves and then asking me how I can make the game run better. And I'm just sitting here tearing my hair out going like, they're never going to be able to get over the supposed FPS death and they're never going to get over the supposed BS of this game runs badly. It runs great if you set it up to run well on your PC, right? I happen to have 
possibly one of the best CPUs on the market for this game, which helps. But even for me, it runs like shit sometimes because like the last fortress I built, Creature Keepers, had like 200 and something dwarves, had like 300 something creatures, had a whole bunch of visitors, also was a massive map that was maybe like, I don't know, 100 Z levels taller than most maps, plus had a whole bunch of flying creatures, plus I dug too deep, so there was demons in the basement. There's hundreds of those. And yeah, my game was running at 15 frames a second. So if your game runs like ass, turn down your settings and wait for them to improve the performance, which they do almost every patch. They just did on the current one, the one that I'm playing on in the experimental branch. Set your settings to a point where the game runs well. Play on smaller maps. Don't play on the biggest possible map settings. If you are having very serious frame rate issues, try and build smaller hallways because a lot of the frame rate issues come from dwarves trying to see each other. Try and like separate your dwarves out a little bit, have meeting zones that are in different places. Don't build forts the way I do with the bigger open hallways and whatnot. And build your fort in a way that runs well on your PC. Because the intrigue and fun of Dwarf Fortress is the character development, world building that you get by paying attention to and reading your dwarves. There's actually an argument to be made that this game is better with smaller population counts anyways because of the fact that you are forced to keep keep tabs on all of your dwarves and be very aware of what's going on in your fortress, who's in your fortress, and the characters that are developing around that. I don't know. That was a bit of a ramble, but I hope that that made some sense. How can you? I'm trying to hit the integer size limit on your dwarf count. How can you prevent FPS death? Uh, get bigger PCs. Try duct taping more CPUs to the outside of it. Might help. <laughs> it's like, do you need a NASA computer to run this game well? No, unless you set it up so that you need a NASA computer to make the game run well. equals more good or why